Hey guys, just adding to the uh, trailer build number two, or video number two, and this is the box that's going to sit, it's upside down right now, it's going to sit onto the Harbor Freight trailer for the kayak build. Um, probably about, I think I'm about halfway through, maybe a little closer, more than half, because I've got a bunch of parts down the basement, both wood and metal for the trailer that I've painted. And in the process of painting, I still need to do a couple more coats. Uh, it's just been a time-consuming process, but a fun one. Um, so you can see in there, the, the rod holders are in there, and I'm just working on the back door right now. So I've got a piano hinge installed, got it painted up the gray that it's going to be, and then now I'm going to try to install the, the cam locks. So I just wanted to uh, take a few videos kind of midstream here. Oops. Sorry, the focus is being a little wacky. Um, I've got it just up on a come along right now. I'd like to get a chain hoist. would make this process a lot easier, and I think chain hoist for uh, taking it on and off the trailer. because It is becoming a heavy beast now. I can only lift one end at a time. But uh, So I think she's coming along real nice, though. I'm excited. I've got it's really, really solid. Um, Still gonna add, you know, when I add the uprights, I'm gonna add some more support as well. But uh, we are looking pretty good. Let me show you before I started working on the back door. Sorry, I know it's a little choppy going around the the garage here. But uh, take these two by fours that I cut down, and I know it's probably hard to see, but let me give you an end view. So it's kind of a, uh, you know octagonic shape where we got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Is that a hex? Hexagon. I'll have to re review my geometry skills here. Um, but anyway, um, I think that that's going to work for the uh, upright cross members that the Yakima um, that the Yakima rack stuff is going to mount to. This is one half of the bow the bow rider there but you can see the kind of the grip there it fits a lot of different crossbars and round bars uh, arrow bars so i think that'll work out good all right i know i'm getting a little long-winded so i'm going to cut this little segment out and we'll uh paste this in with other pictures and build video peace out thanks a lot guys for watching we appreciate you hey guys i'm coming to you from my makeshift paint booth in my basement. Sorry, the audio is probably terrible. It's a little echoey down here. I've got some tarps up to try to keep the spray paint down for the rest of the house uh, because it has been stinking up the house and Mandy and Meadow not so happy when the house stinks. But uh, I just wanted to give a little quick blurb here in the middle. Um, I've got the all the rails for the trailer frame um, here painted. Um, we just got the last coat going on, I think. Um, it's pretty tough to cover the red. So it's definitely required several coats with this metallic paint. And uh, got the last coats of the uh, plywood over here. Um, that's the sides that you're looking at right there of the box that'll go between the frame and the kayaks. So uh, anyway, just wanted to show you a little bit of progress in between. This will be part of the... Uh, part two of the trailer build and uh, we're making progress so that's exciting it's still about 14 degrees and snowy outside so i have a little bit of time um, but i just wanted to update you guys and show you some progress along the way uh, once i get into a project i have a hard time stopping so even though it's still the end of february and cold i'd like to get this project done and looking uh See if it looks like the vision I had in mind. But uh, we're doing good. Hope you guys are doing well. Please like and subscribe. And uh, probably getting way too many of those um, since I'm probably going to paste a lot of these videos together. But uh, anyway, we appreciate you. Appreciate you watching. I hope this helps anybody who's thinking about doing a trailer build. And uh, we'll see you in the next segment. Hope you guys are great. Peace out. Bye. All right, so here's how it looks pre-construction for the Harbor Freight trailer. We've got all the painted pieces here, a couple more small ones down in the basement still, 
And then it just comes with this big monster bag of hardware. So we'll be cracking this open, get the instruction manual out, and uh, start assembly today. So I'm excited. And uh, I've got both, both the front and the back doors on now with the cam locks installed of the box. So the box is coming along nicely. I think it's uh, as done as it's going to get until I get the trailer done. And then I'll be able to flip the box over and get the trailer on it and fit all the other pieces to it. Um, last night I installed, panning slowly up, the 880 pound uh, lift from Harbor Freight. So that'll help me in the build process since I have to build some part of it and then flip it over and then flip it back over. Um, and I think when these all get assembled it's going to be pretty heavy. So I think that'll work good and we'll be back with you. So far so good, just uh, going together with a whole bunch of M10 uh, by 20 nuts. Got kind of laid out there. Got the folding bracket on, right now I've just got everything fairly loose. I'll tighten it up when it's all square. Um, but everything's so far so good, going together pretty easily. Um, this is the front half of the cargo of the Harbor Freight trailer and I'm about to put on the tow bars. So. So I just wanted to do a little progress check. So far, far so good. Goes together real easy so far. Peace. So this may be the last little blurb in the kayak trailer build video. Um, we've got the box on the frame, got the sides, top, front and back all on. And today I just uh, just put the top on just a few seconds ago, put the uprights on, bolted them where the uh, stakes go on the Harbor Freight trailer, if you did the stake side trailer. Um, but I'm using that for the uprights. And we're going up to the... Uh, up right here, I modified a 2x4 to fit the Akama um, rack system stuff, the rollers and the pads for the kayaks. Still have a little bit of trim to do and finish up, but I think this might be the last of the trailer build video, because you guys get the idea, because I'll eventually do a walk around and uh, you know kind of review the trailer after it's been going for a little bit. So um, It's turned out really nice. Some, you know, a few little quirks and kinks along the way. Um, as you can see, I've had to cut down this uh, end door just a touch where I was off on my measurements, so I've got to do a little touch-up paint. Um, I have scratched up the silver quite a bit in the build, so I have a lot of touch-up paint to do there um, when it warms up just a touch. Um, I'm going to install the quarter round, kind of give it a nice rounded look there. And uh, But overall, it's uh, the trailer seems great. Um, I went with the bearing buddies on the hubs, so we're going to give those a whirl. Um, my parents always had it on boat trailers and things like that, so uh, they've always performed well, so we're going to give those a whirl on this trailer. So, um, yeah, overall, if you have any comments or questions, just please let me know. Um, everything went together pretty well. I'm going to pop open one of the ends here and show you the inside, even though it'll be a little dark. See if I have my combination right. Let's go around to the front here. It'll actually be better with the lighting anyway. Sorry for the chopped up video, but I just wanted to show you the inside here. And these cam locks are pretty sweet. Um, little combination cam locks. Um, they'll open up. I'm going to put some bumpers on the front here to protect the 
for where it hits on the trailer. And uh, there's the inside of the box with the DIY fishing rods installed. I went with wing nuts. Kind of see in there, wing nuts for the uprights. So I figured those will come off in the winter time when I take. I'm going to take the box and the uprights off and fold up the trailer for the winter time here in Wisconsin, so I can get Mandy's car in the garage when it snows. So, all right, just wanted to do a little quick walk around. Um, yeah, it's, I'm pretty excited. Get, coming along nicely, and we'll get it finished up, trimmed out over the next week or two. And I'll probably do a walk around video there. But please uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, Meadow and I love seeing new subscribers. So I really appreciate you all for watching. And uh, we'll wrap up this part two of the kayak trailer build. And like I say, please, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, I'm really excited about this project. Don't mind talking about it. And uh, I think it's going to turn out nice. All right, guys. Peace out.